Hey everyone! Welcome back to Mida's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. In today's video, we're going to start by me showing you how to do an infill on grown out Jolex tips. Uh, these are the Prey ones. Um, and yeah, I've already gone ahead and removed the cuticles and everything. So I'm just going to show you how to use Builder Gel in a bottle and Poly Gel to do infills. And then we're gonna move on to doing some Pokemon nail art for the new Scarlet Violet game. So stay tuned, and if you want to skip to the nail art, I'm gonna leave a timestamp below, so you can just go to that. So the very first thing we're going to be doing after doing all of our prep and applying our uh, bonder is to apply a layer of base coat. I usually apply it on the entire nail. Uh, some people only apply it on the area closest to the cuticle that's exposed where there's no nothing covering the nail. If you are using uh, builder gel in a bottle, most of them uh, can stick without a problem to previous extensions. If you are using poly gel, you definitely need a base coat so that the poly gel sticks on. Um, the most important thing about this to keep in mind when doing infills on gel x nails so full cover gel tips is that you need to do a rebalance because these nails usually come with a certain uh stress point like the apex is at a certain point and when it grows out the apex goes further up so you're going to have to do a rebalance <laughs> so i am showing you now how to do that the most important thing when doing a rebalance is to apply a big ish <laughs> Bead, depending on your length of nails of course um, on the lower side of your nail near the cuticle and just start pushing down and then you're going to apply the polish on the entire nail I use a small detail brush to fix the area around my cuticles as you can see uh, this particular gel is by Born Pretty it's self-leveling and it's thicker um, so it doesn't move as easily so you can play around with it without worrying if it's gonna flood your cuticles and you have to make sure to add enough product where your natural nail starts having a free edge. So if you see on my nail right now, right where I was doing the brush, this is where you want to center your product. You can add a little more if you want, there's no problem with that. But yeah, this is where you need to focus it. So let's see again how I'm putting this together, applying a blob of polish right there and I'm going ahead and just floating it down towards the cuticle area, making sure that I let the gel do its job. You don't have to push it too close to the cuticles with the brush, you just need to push the brush behind the gel in a sense so that it floods down and then you can fix it with your small brush, it doesn't matter. Then whatever's left over in your brush, go ahead and brush it onto the rest of the nail. It doesn't have to be th too thick of a coat. Um, because you already have the gel extension below and then you can go ahead and fix your cuticle area with a small detailed brush and you can also go ahead and just drag the gel to help strengthen the apex. Once again, you can see that I am applying quite a bit of polish right near the cuticle area, then slowly floating it upwards. You don't have to press your brush hard onto the nail when you're doing these types of extensions or when you're doing a rebalance. Um, you don't have to use a lot of product and you don't have to push the brush hard. You can just float it. And this is something that I have heard uh, the people from Young Nails speak a lot about their educators. They keep saying like floated floated so you have to practice a lot to get there but it's okay the easiest method is with poly gel of course you just need a regular brush a little bit of the poly gel slip solution you apply a small amount near your cuticle area and what i like to do is just start uh fixing the cuticle area first many people start from the free edge i do it the different way um, here because I find it easier. It's not like acrylic where you have to work fast. You can just take your time, fix your cuticle area first. So make sure you cover all of the new growth and then you can use whatever's remaining of your product to just fix the rest of the nail and just slowly drag it upwards, making sure that your sides are covered, that you have a strong apex. So yeah, 
this is pretty much all of it and whatever mistakes you make you can easily fix them with your file later on which is going to be the next step i usually don't file on camera so yeah when you manage to get to a point where you can do the rebalance like this you won't have to file a lot so when it comes to filing i file from the sides first to fix the shape of the nail and then i file the sides um, then i file the cuticle area and i also file the top as you can see now i'm essentially just dragging my brush to the top third of the nail you can see where the file marks are and i make sure that this part is thinner and that it doesn't eat away from the apex from like the middle bump of the nail then i will go in with a buffer this is a really easy method because it doesn't really require a lot of filing and as you can see the nail is thin they're very strong this lasted me for a very long time and after filing all of them here is what they should look like so you can see they're very natural looking and they're a great alternative to gel ex extensions if you don't want to remove them every time and apply a new set. And now we're going to move on to the nail art. So the most exciting thing about, about this is that I joined Be Geek. Um, we're a team of gamers and uh, other people interested in gaming and we play games and that are given to us by the companies that produce them and we write reviews about them so there is a review of this uh game on the big geek website that i played and wrote um yeah i was so excited so thankful that i was given this game i'm a, I'm a huge pokemon fan and i wanted to do something to kind of you know go along with the article of course my work schedule is so compact that i did not have time to put do this on launch so yeah i i'm late i'm like a month late <laughs> but i had so much fun playing the game and i really loved legendary pokemon in these i'd never played a pokemon game on the switch before we just got a switch like a month ago with my husband and it's been so much fun like we're having such a blast and despite the issues that this game had uh it was so much fun like i really really enjoyed it so when it comes to painting something so intricate and detailed i always start with a um, freshly buffed nail or um, adding a matte top coat and then i go ahead and i use a pencil to sketch out all the details that i want to paint it takes a lot of trial and error to get there um i mix colors to achieve the right colors for Crichton here <laughs> it was so much fun yeah, I just, I love painting characters. I don't do it as often because it takes a lot of time. But yeah, so when it comes to giving you some tips on how to start designing and creating characters on your nails, if you're into this kind of detailed nail art, um, you should always have a very clear idea of what you want to make. Find a picture that you want to recreate on your nail. And if you're struggling with the design, go ahead and print it out in a very small little design you can um then have it like right next to your nail or have it on your phone on like very zoomed in and just try to slowly do the lines and i as you can see i have already done the outline with a black color and then i'm filling it in sort of like a coloring book it's a lot easier this way and it also helps you make sure that the black lines are very thin so then even if you have to go over them afterwards, you can just do it with a very thin brush and you're not going to have an issue. But yeah, my favorite thing about this is mixing colors and putting them together. Um, I'm going to leave a link to my review in the description. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you guys like this kind of video. Um, this is a lot of me just painting and painting and blending and doing stuff. <laughs> so yeah i don't really know what to talk to you about uh when it comes to this part of the video i guess i'm i'm gonna tell you about um gaming it, that's appropriate right so i don't know how many of my subscribers on here are into gaming um yeah i play a lot of games my favorite games are the witcher series like everybody speaks about the third game but i love all of them and actually one of my first videos was making witcher inspired nails which was like two years ago <laughs> um i am a huge pokemon fan this was literally the first anime that i watched when i was like five years old it was a wee child 
Um, and it's stuck with me ever since. Um, I play a lot of farming simulator games and uh, like pixelated RPGs. Now it's been so much fun playing this on the Switch. Like there's, I usually played the pixelated games on Steam on the computer, and now having them on the Switch, I, I just have a new appreciation appreciation for pixel art. It's so so pretty. Um, yeah. So I also got Animal Crossing which to be fair i'm not that crazy about i was expecting to be like obsessed with it but i have been playing this game called potion permit lately which i love um yeah that's pretty much it about my gaming career i i like shooters as well but not as much um i'm mainly an open world rpg kind of person i don't know <laughs> I, I just i like pixelated games a lot <laughs> So yeah, if you're into this kind of stuff as well, and if you like games, let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Um, I don't know if I should like combine this with reading some sort of story or something for you, because these are very long videos. Um, when I was filming this, it was like three and a half hours of footage. Like I'm skipping over most of the painting here, but it took forever. But it was so much fun and so worth it. And I wore these for like three weeks. I think I wore these nails. I did not want to remove them. <laughs> they were grown out so much. So I had to do another info. And yeah. That's all pretty much. You can see that I'm adding some final details. This is a cat eye polish. Um, and I thought it looked like a very pretty starry background. For Coridon and Miraiden. I hope I'm not butchering their names. I'm not good at pronouncing stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Go ahead and read my review and follow me on instagram to learn more about when i post reviews i also recently did an interview with um a very cool guy uh i'm not gonna say any more about that you're gonna see it when it's up um but yeah as always you cannot forget your top coat after everything um sometimes with these kind of polishes uh when which are like more pigmented for painting the gel polish on top doesn't catch as well so you might want to buff them a little bit or wipe them down uh, and then it's going to stick perfectly of course you cannot forget your cuticle oil to nourish your cuticles and here is the finished look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was longer i know i was talking a bit too much but I, I don't feel like i really open up in my videos and talk to you about a lot of stuff so maybe this was a chance for you to get to know me better I'm also gonna hyper from coffee, so hi. <laughs> Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and leaving me a comment telling me what you thought. And if you would like to see more of these types of videos, and if you're a gamer as well, let me know what kind of games you play. We should like connect and play together. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for reading my article if you do. And also let me know what you thought of the new intro and outro. Okay, see you guys. Bye!